Marek, it's wonderful to have you with us. How excited are you to share kites with people here in London today? <laughs> really excited. And I, I can't describe the feeling. You know, I felt like this when I was getting married last time. Yeah. It feels that good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nervous. I know I love this girl. My life will be beautiful, but you still feel nervous. And mm -hmm. What do you think about it is about this film that makes it suitable for a global audience? Uh, you know, the, to understand this film, you don't have to understand a language. You, if you don't know English, Hindi or Spanish, you'll still go there and enjoy the film. I think that's the uh, USP of this film. And uh, I'll be glad if non-Indian you know, non audiences come and see the film, enjoy the film. That's where our victory is. Does it make it harder as a director working with so many different languages on set? Oh, it was very tough. You know, I use hands so much because I had to... I had to use a lot of sign languages to explain the scene. You know, that's why this is added to my body language using hands so much. And what's it like working with a big superstar like Rifik Roshan? He's not superstar at all on set. He's just like a teammate and he's amazing. You know, and uh, that's what's good about him. And when you see the film, you'll not see the Rithik Roshan. You'll see the character. You know, that's what. He's a great actor. And there's so much action in this film. Was that was that a challenge to direct? There's some amazing sequences on cars. Yeah, but there's not too much of action. I still call it a romantic film. Action is a part of it. Yeah, it was challenging because um, to make it look real, because we were shooting in uh, USA, we had to block the highway and make it look natural, it was really tough, yeah. And how important is the love story in this film? Is, is that what it's really all about? It's just love story. If you ask me the genre, it's romantic genre, it's not even romantic thriller, it's just a romantic genre. And what about the remix with Brett Ratner? How did that come about? <laughs> you know what, Brett, Brett it's Brett's fault, he, he liked the film. I You're said, blaming him? Yeah, it's Brett's fault, he, said he, he liked the film and he said, but you know what, it will work everywhere else in Hollywood, he wanted to present the film, release it mainstream Hollywood, but he said he wanted to cut 20 minutes out of it. I couldn't have done it because I was too close to the film and he said I'll cut, but he, great because you know he did it and without losing any essence and soul of the film it was tough. Do you think this is going to help the film reach a bigger audience around the world? I hope so. I'm keeping my finger crossed. I'm really anxious to know the result, how people are going to react and see the best version. His fault. It's his fault. His fault. Well, thank you very much, Dungus, and thank best of luck with the film tonight. Hey, how are you? Pleasure to see you Good again. See you. How excited are you to be unveiling kites to the, the, the world today? So excited. I've never been to a premiere with so many Indians in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and what can people expect from kites if they're not familiar with it so far? Fun, entertainment love, romance, um, action, everything that you expect out of a Bollywood movie, and, and more. And what are the differences between the original and your remix? What have you done there? I've shortened it. <laughs> Is that it? That's it's an hour and a half shorter. Yeah. And what's the logic behind that? Why are you doing that? Um, I just... I did what I felt. I don't know. I wasn't there. Was, there wasn't a strategy to it. Is is it about trying to, to maybe bring Bollywood cinema to, to a more global audience though? Yeah. That, yeah? It's a great you know some of the some Bollywood movies work better than um, uh, Hollywood movies in a lot of countries. So there's a huge audience for Bollywood movies, as you can see. A, a huge star in Rifik Roshan. Yeah. Do you think he could be the next crossover star? You, you've helped he's launch a, a few of those careers he's yourself. Indian Brad Pitt for yeah. sure. Meet John Travolta. <laughs> Brett, thanks for talking great to me, man. Talking. Have a great night. Yeah, it's uh, like a brand new event for me. This is the first time. It's my own film, and it's a red carpet premiere out here. Oh, wow. so, so I'm enjoying it. So you just flew in from New York. Did you ever yeah. think you'd be traveling the world promoting this movie? Thank you, much. Did you ever think you'd be traveling the world promoting no, this movie? No, not at all, not at all. This came all of a sudden, they made the program, and it's a hectic schedule, though. We have to get up early in the morning, take a flight and do all the interviews and then uh, have a show in the evening. Oh. Yeah. Everyone is talking about the fire song. Tell us about the concept and creation of the song. The fire is a trance song. It is sung by me and Vishal. And uh, since Hrithik is a good dancer, so that's a song to watch for. Oh, God, I'm definitely going to be looking out for that one. Um, and what are your hopes and expectations from the movie and the premiere? Well, hopes are very high. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, it's a good turn. We need your good wishes. Yeah. Definitely yeah. got all our wishes here in London. Thank, Thank you very much. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Vanessa, how good? Are you looking forward to kites tonight? Oh yeah. God, I've never seen such uproar as a premiere before. People are fainting, shouting, swooning. Women are throwing their knickers. It's really great. Yeah. They're getting very excited. I think a lot of that's to do with uh, Rikish Roshan, the man right behind you there. What, what do you think? Do you think well, you can? I've, can had you... A, I've had an opportunity to look at him close up. 
I can see what all the fuss is about. Very nice, thank you. Very nice. And are you guys a fan of Bollywood films or Hollywood? Well, I'm just here to make sure that she doesn't run off with the lead in that. <laughs> you're, just here, you're just here to remind her that she's a, a taken Don't woman. Yeah. Chance, Chance would be exactly. a fine thing. And I think I'd better go and talk to him now and forge a bond. He's just I, over there. I know, I'm going go, to offer to hold his popcorn for him. <laughs> It's really always a great uh, feeling to see an Indian audience in, in, in London. They're like absolutely mind-blowing. So it's, uh, I'm very happy that I'm here today. And can you maybe tell us very quickly the, the, the story of Kites? What, what, what is Kites it's all about? A, it's a romantic film. It's a, it's a, it's a cross-border romance. Two, as they say that uh, romance doesn't have any language. Actually, this film should break all language barriers because it is about no language and the language is love. So, more than that, I can't say. You must see the film and then experience it yourself. But uh, for Bollywood, I think it, it is going to be a new step towards uh, making films which, which are more international in look and feel. Um, and the stories are more universal, which can be sort of liked by people across uh, the world. Uh, it, apart from the diaspora audience, I would say. And do you think Rifik Roshan is poised to be the next huge Hollywood star as well as a Bollywood star? I always felt Rifik is, it has great potential to be a great Hollywood star. And uh, I was in Cannes a few days back and a lot of people have uh, you know, said the same thing. They've echoed the same thing after watching this film. So um, I would wish him all the best that he should... Uh, uh, there's no reason he shouldn't uh, you know, make, it, make a, a mark at Hollywood also. He speaks English well, he's a great personality and he's a great actor. Well, that's it from the European premiere of Kites. We've had a fantastic time, talked to all the stars, and you've watched it all right here.